This is WSMB4 News at 10. New information out of Memphis tonight. Police say they found a body, but who that person is and how they died is still not known at this time. Still ahead, request granted. A special master will review the classified documents seized from Mar-a-Lago. What does this mean for the investigation? And later, survival at sea. A man drifting for days in a freezer. This is an unbelievable story. You're going to hear how he finally got rescued. And tomorrow morning on WSMB4, an important health reminder for parents who may be given their child melatonin supplements to help them fall asleep. Why you want to be careful about just how much they're taking. All right, let's talk sports. And, you know, last season's opener is one that the Titans are happy to forget. Up next, they're looking ahead to Sunday's game with the Giants, and we talk about Harold Landry's replacement. And don't forget, Touchdown Friday Night is back, but be sure to check us out at 1015 on Friday nights for the best stuff from high school football right here in the Mid-State. She'll be interested to hear that yeah. story. Good. Report back tomorrow. Get right. Paul tonight. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a good night, everybody. Kidnapping suspect was found earlier this week. The latest in the missing teacher's story that's just ahead. And two overnight shootings here in Nashville. Carly Gordon has the latest in just minutes live from the alert desk. And Metro Council is looking at abortion access tonight. The two bills on the agenda and the controversy, what they could change for women wanting the procedure outside of Tennessee. Hey, glad to have you rising and shining with us, Nashville. And good morning, everyone. As you're waking up and getting the kids ready to head back to school after the long weekend, give them the umbrella. Won't be necessarily needed by everyone as we go through today, but some pop-up showers and thunderstorms will develop going through this afternoon. Off to school, no major problems. Few areas of patchy fog, but nothing overly widespread. Temperatures lower to the mid-80s for that high today with that hit or miss shower or thunderstorm to round out the day. When I come back, we're going to talk about when we can completely dry out with your full forecast, Carly. Thanks, Stefano. One of the biggest strikes in U.S. history is brewing at UPS. I'm live on the alert desk with what it means for you. That's after the break. And the struggle this morning for people in Northwest Georgia in those flooded homes without running water. Where they're getting help this morning. We have the latest developments all coming up right here on WSMB4. Stay with us. Hearing from the one and only Dolly. Is yes. she not the best person oh on this planet? So because sweet. I think so. I think so too. I think so. so kind. We're all huge fans, can you tell? We love that, Dolly. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We've got you covered with local updates every half hour throughout the Today Show. Enjoy your Tuesday, everybody.